Alexander Allen reporting from Jay's home base in Buffalo, New York. Yesterday, Jay biked 88 miles through Montana and rested for the night in West Yellowstone. Today, he will cross into Wyoming, which is the fourth state on the Trans Am route. Let's hear an update from Jay. Hey, race fans, it's Jay with another race update. Today was um, kind of good and bad. I didn't sleep so hot last night, but I felt like I still had energy today. The bad thing was the headwinds. So just to give you an idea of what headwinds do to a bicyclist, yesterday when I had a tailwind, I was doing uh, right around 25 miles an hour. I held that for maybe not quite that, but but it was close. You always look down when you're going the fastest, right? And I held there for, for like an hour because I had this big boosting tailwind out of the south. Today, I had headwinds. They weren't, well, they were strong and they were gusty. They, they knocked my forward advancement back. You know, at points I was doing only 8 miles an hour, 12 miles an hour. I was moving okay, but it just took it out of me. And the wind here in this area where you have all these jutting mountains and these canyons it's buffeting so it's not just like you're pushing into the wind pushing you left and then right and so you're you're constantly back and forth on your your saddle moving your hips trying to keep the the bike you know perpendicular to the road it's complicated by traffic it was an exhausting day and today was not a lot of mileage wasn't planned a lot of mileage. I talked with a local expert. Um, he said, do you want to get to uh, West Yellowstone and try and make it through the park in one day? Weather does not look great. Uh, it looks like we're going to have more rain. Winds look okay. We'll just have to see. And it's very sparse, so my bailout points are few. Just sharing with you, I'm a little nervous about tomorrow afternoon and um, and I got a major major climb tomorrow at the end of the day hopefully tomorrow I'm in really good physical with this race is you really 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 just got to take it one moment at a time he had a, uh, a dot watcher crowd join me for breakfast today met me on the route and you know can track me down and uh, we rode bikes in the little town of Venice Montana he rode with me he had some uh, very nice uh, fellowship so thanks Carl really enjoyed uh, getting to meet you face to face and, and uh, doing some biking most importantly today's ride was in memory of Sergeant Michael Isaac Garcia and his uh, wife Daphne Gonzalez he passed away November 24th 2017 Oh, I, I do have a special request. And this is kind of scary, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm trying to share everything that is going through my head, the negative stuff, not to complain, but just so you can kind of experience the race uh, through me, if you will. We've had two people hit recently, uh, one today, and um, he got hit pretty bad, and he's a great guy, and he's been um, a great uh, promoter of the race and just a great guy and I, I believe he's been in the race several times and he's all busted up but he should live with broken ribs punctured lung via some other broken bro bones and internal injuries and then we also had another racer get hit and dragged that individual also made it and looks like that they're gonna be okay um, but these are very really scary things say prayers not only for me but all the other racers all right that's my last request and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our daily videos. Please tell your family and friends about Jay's mission. We encourage you to visit our CrowdRise campaign and give to our fundraiser today. Together, we can make a difference and help military widows.